Hi everybody, how are you doing? Hope you are all well and safe and having a great day. I'm having a good day. I thought I just wanted to sketch today. I don't want to get into anything complicated. I just want to sketch for sketching's sake. I just wanted to do drawing and um, not think about any of the sort of theory, technicalities or anything. So it's a bit different this video. I just sketch and ramble on about all sorts of rubbish. So I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up, much appreciated. Uh, and uh, stop rambling, Steve. Let's just get straight into the video. I just feel like sketching today. So what better way than to open up Critter? and choose some charcoal brushes and pencils and this is going to be what am i using charcoal draw detail do i want detail at this point not really let's go something what's this one don't want that either well, that's quite nice i'm fancying um like a scribbly type drawing Just a really loose. Use with this pencil. This is the charcoal three pencil grainy. If I use my pen vertical, I get straight lines like this. And if I tilt it, I get these nice shades. So this is what I'm doing really. I'm recording just a video of me practicing and loosening up rather than sort of coming up with something that is intended as um, something I've planned out bit of a tutorial perhaps this is just me chilling and sketching and talking <laughs> so i hope you don't mind that uh just i've just got the urge to scribble a bit no, like that. This is a really old photo, and I mean old, uh, goes back to 2004. I was on a walk. I just bought a new Nikon D50 camera. I remember it well. And I'd signed up for a photo course at the college where I worked. I did that did the course loved it but this particular day was just out for a walk this is a cool brush this number three pencil grainy Look on the side, tilt it, you get these lovely smudges and then keep it vertical. I love brushes when you don't have to, to sort of change them all the time. I like this scribbly style as well. And I can just let the pen just go wherever it likes. Maybe I have to rub, rub some of it out. <laughs> Didn't want you go in there. So I know uh, that, that my sketching's all about mood, you know, it's never about detail. Light and shade, darks and lights.
I might stick with this just you know what I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick with this one pencil and then uh, I can say sketching with the number three ever on the title pressure as well makes a huge difference this one oops sharpen that edge up a little bit with the eraser that's it Right, uh, down there. Uh -huh. I love, I love blacks. I'd be hopeless at photography because I, when I've tried it, I like to uh, put in blacks, and you know professional photographers these camera clubs say you've burnt it all out it's not very good and uh, I know I would not do very well look I'm just letting that pencil go wherever it wants really Putting in a few simple uh, lines, the odd brick. Well, it's not brick, is it? It's stone. It's a stone barn. This is in uh, Derbyshire, in the Peak District. Absolutely beautiful place. I used to go there walking at least once a week with my sketchbook. Went with a mate, he used to take a, a book to read. And uh, we were both lecturers at the time. Uh, I think I was teaching sign painting. And he was in construction. And when you, when you lecture, you don't get sort of, it's not a job where you have to lecture five days a week. Um, every day, you sort of, a timetable and you get time off so you might find yourself with half a day off in the week uh, which is what we used to do we always just try and, and timetable it so we would uh, get half a day off uh, at the same time and then we would take it in turns to drive into the peak and we'd go for walks and he was really into it uh, this mate of mine and he would have a little book with all these really cool walks in and we would look for these walks and uh, every week we'd do like, you know, between sometimes it would be a three mile walk and sometimes it would be a six mile walk, which doesn't seem very long. But when you uh, are stopping every 10 minutes to do a sketch, um, it kind of it kind of eats away at the time. And, and he would take a book and, uh, you know, sort of whatever to read and prop himself down while I was there with my sketchbook sketching away and I've got lots of sketchbooks from that period uh, well, and that, that was when I was a uh, watercolorist really doing mainly watercolor paintings I'm just loving how this is coming together see there's no real detail going off I don't really bothered about the detail squiggles look tumbled down 
This mate of mine wasn't with me on this particular walk. Bit of a sheep. Bit of a sheep there, look. Also, I got a friend who's he's absolutely awesome at, at uh, he's a watercolorist. He's a friend now, but he used to be uh, he used to teach when I was first learning, and uh, he's he's got a YouTube channel. It's way bigger than mine. Peter Woolley, his name is watercolorist, uh, traditional, uh, and he used to teach when I first started. And uh, I remember being, he, he did this demo at this class I was in. <laughs> and he said, have we got any questions? And I, I, I sort of shouted out, yeah, did you did you trace them sheep? And uh, that's kind of remained as a bit of a joke since then. Whenever I see him, I, I've walked up to him behind him when he's been doing exhibitions and sort of, uh, said in, whispered in his ear, did you trace them sheep? Uh, at first he was like really took aback and uh, didn't know how to respond really because it's uh, not something nice is it for somebody to say I suppose that you've never met before. But I was back in the day, back in those days I was uh, I was quite loud and a bit <laughs> Quite a bit different to what I'm like now. I've mellowed a lot as I've got older. Uh, I've mellowed quite a lot actually. There we go. Don't worry, I kind of go like this. Put that sort of land in there. I think I'll put a few more gnarly old stones going off in here as well. Maybe lift some colour out. Uh, I think it's nice just to, uh, you know, get the pencils out and just sketch and not really worry where you're going with it. That's all wrong, isn't it? It's sort of more like that. So there's nothing about any apps in this. No secret tips on how to use Critter. Although I have to say... Uh, these are the Krita, um charcoal pencils made by Ramon Mirando, and I will put a link in the description where you can uh, find those, and and a link to Ramon's video as well, because uh, he sort of gives it a talk about charcoal and stuff. I'll flick a few grasses in there. I could almost put a wash on this, couldn't I? All these little weeds, tiny little weeds. Like, shall I uh, squiggle something in for those? You know what? I don't think that sheep's adding anything. Apart from it being a crap sheep. I mean, not drawn very well. Take it out, that's better. It's just destroying that silhouette of those my story anyway and I'm sticking with that squiggly little sketch it's nice to you know do this you should give it a go where you um, don't don't be afraid to get bogged down with detail or think you're going to show it to anybody or anything like that 
just for you and you can practice these are the kind of things I like to put in the sketchbook you can practice in just making shapes and things and practice tones and maybe do a little squiggle with the array I just turned my Wacom pen upside down to do this put a few lines in there uh, I, I really like that I think that's done you know let's give it this no real need to sign a, a sketch but there we go so that is the um, charcoal pencils in Krita. I've only used one. I've only used the number three pencil grainy brush. Look at that. Just look how cool that is. Um, I think I've changed the color there slightly. I can see some water in the photo. Now I'll just peer in through there. Never mind. I don't think that adds anything. I'm going to make that a bit darker there. Was I, I was just winding that up then, wasn't I? Um, yeah, so there we are. The uh, charcoal brushes in Critter. Links in the description if you want to um, if you want to grab hold of these. They're free. Uh, just by a remote Miranda. And that's it. A little, a real loose little sketch and if that's too much I can't stop I'm just feeling it man not even bothered drawing any real bricks really or or uh, stone walls or anything just put an indication of what two things are A, a nice little sketch that's it i've finished hope you've enjoyed this video if you have big thumbs up as always is much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing i've got lots of videos like this and i'd love to be sharing them all with you so don't forget everybody stay safe stay sane keep painting hopefully i'll see you all in the next one Bye.